Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a very requested video. Ever since I started doing my fitness videos, you guys have been wanting to see 10 tips to get healthy, tips for starting a healthy lifestyle, ways to get motivated to get healthy, ways to stay healthy, all that kind of stuff. Trust me, I know how it feels to want to get healthy, but not know where to start. I mean, sometimes a health and fitness lifestyle can look like this big, daunting task and big journey and you just don't know where to begin. That is why I'm here today to help you, to give you 10 tips and um, just wanna to talk to you guys about it. If this is your first video of mine, hello, welcome to the fam. I think we also came up with a fam name, the Starlings. Everyone really seemed to really, really like that and it's also cool because Starlings is a bird. So what you guys can do like when, when we tweet together and stuff, like the Starlings when we all tweet, we can tweet out this bird emoji because it's like our little, it's our little mascot. Because it's a, it's a bird. So I think that's really cute. And it kind of like goes along with my name and stuff. So I like it. Do you guys like it? I don't know. We're the Starlings now. I think that's cool. So if you want to be one, um, subscribe to my channel because I upload all the time. And starting today, no, starting a few days ago, I'm uploading so much at least in the month of July definitely for the rest of summer though but like you guys don't even know how many videos are coming at you it's like crazy I'm a little overwhelmed but I do what I can for the people I love anyway I'm trying to tell you to subscribe to my channel anyway let's get on with the video all right so tip number one is to have real motivation you are not gonna want to get healthy unless you are actually motivated and I know this can sound like shallow to have real motivation but honestly, like get motivated. Do your ex just dump you and you wanna look hot to make them jealous? Amazing, do it! <laughs> do you honestly just hate how you feel in your clothes? Do you feel like you can't wear certain shirts or certain pants? Or you dread going to pick out your clothes because you just don't like how you look in them? Great, time to get healthy. Like there's no bad reason to get motivated to get healthy. Um, from personal experience, the reason why I started getting healthy was because I hated wearing anything because my thighs started touching. Um, I just felt gross all the time. I just felt overweight. I felt like everything in my body was just moving so slow and I realized that I felt like crap because I was eating crap. So that goes along with number two, which is to get inspired and to get educated. Now there are so many different lifestyle routes that you can take. You can um, you know, follow Instagram accounts and see um, progress pictures and see how people eat, a lot of foodie accounts. I really recommend Shut the Kale Up. You can watch videos on YouTube, how to lose 100 pounds, how to, you know, whatever, do all this stuff. Documentaries on Netflix are amazing. You can watch Cowspiracy. You can read books like Skinny Bitch. That's the book that honestly changed my life. I'm gonna link a lot of documentaries and books that I really, really like down below. They are really good. Educate yourself and never stop learning because the more you learn, the more you're gonna be inspired and you're gonna stay inspired and stay motivated to stay healthy. Going along with that, my third tip is to take progress pictures. On your day one, take a picture that you just don't like. Work from there. Also, this really sounds kind of messed up, but it really did help me. I took a picture in my mirror in my old bedroom of like how I looked, and I went on Facetune and I edited it to how I wanted to look, and um, I kept that picture. Um, I looked back a few months later, and I looked like that picture. So, when you can kind of see how you want yourself to look, you are really motivated to get to that point. And also, when you see your own progress pictures, you know, take one every four weeks. When you see how you are changing your own body, you stay much more motivated. And trust me, the before and afters are like incredible. So this all kind of goes off one another, but my fourth tip is no diets. I swear to God, if I see any of you guys do any of like these stupid diets that are only good for like a week where you lose like 15 pounds, a juice cleanse, any of that stuff, that's not a real way of eating. Okay, when you get healthy, it's a lifestyle. And I know that sounds like a major change to your life, but when you start changing your life, you're not gonna wanna go back to your old ways. You're just gonna have to experiment, and this is really hard to find what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Are you intolerant to dairy? Are you intolerant to meat? You know, are you intolerant to gluten? Like, what is your body, how does your body work? Everyone's body is different, so I can't tell you, like, what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. You're gonna have to figure it out for yourself and you're gonna have to stick to it once you find out what works for you. Next up on the diet totem pole, number five tip is to drink only water. Cut out sodas, cut out any juices, Gatorades, Powerades, um, sugary drinks. I'm serious, like coffee, when you sleep enough hours and you eat right and you drink enough water, you don't need coffee to get through the day. I just drink only water. It really helps you so 
so much. If you're like me and you don't like the taste of water, put lemon in it. I know everyone tells you that, but like, don't hate it till you try it. It's really, really yummy and it's also gonna detoxify your body. Number six, six is to try out this new diet, lifestyle, whatever for 30 days. Just try for 30 days. You can do anything for 30 days. No processed foods, no candies, no junk foods, just real, healthy, whole foods, water for 30 days. And you're gonna notice a huge difference. Um, and after the 30 days, if you hated it, you can go back to your old ways and do whatever. But I can almost like guarantee you, you're going to see change in 30 days. It takes, it takes four weeks for you to see change, eight weeks for other people to see a change, and 12 weeks for everyone to notice a change. Think about that, you're gonna start seeing changes in your body and you're not gonna wanna go back. Just try it for 30 days, don't knock until you try it. My next tip, number seven, is to try new workouts. Um, and find out what workouts work for you. When I started, I would always go, go to the gym and I would like lift and stuff, and I was always so bored. I'm like, the gym is so not fun. Like I just really don't enjoy going to the gym, and like I still kind of don't enjoy going to the gym. But if the gym is your option, um, get a workout buddy. It really does help. If you can't afford a gym, there's so many videos on YouTube to watch to work out. There's so many videos to go outside and go work out. You're gonna need to move your body if you wanna see a change. I mean, it's gonna speed it up a little bit more, but I also wanna say apps are made in the kitchen, not in the gym. So if you really wanna see the biggest changes in your body, you're gonna have to eat, right? You can't just rely on working out just to see the changes in your body. But working out will kind of be a catalyst for your health and it'll just progress it forward a lot quicker and you just feel so good after you work out. You release endorphins, your brain, you kind of just get like a high off of it and it just feels really good. For me, when I started getting fit and getting healthy, I loved going to spin classes and that was like my thing. That was my niche. I really, really did enjoy spin classes. Before that, it was kickboxing. I really thought boxing was so cool. So now I just sort of lift with my mom. I teach spin classes now. That's how much I loved it. I became a spin instructor. Um, I take bar classes and I like jump around to other places around here and do like solid core and um, soul cycle and I just go everywhere for classes now and it's really fun. Number eight is to sleep. Sleep, <laughs> this is probably everyone's favorite tip. Get enough sleep. I'm not kidding guys, you need to have enough sleep. So I always recommend to get at least six hours of sleep every night. It's not that hard to get six hours of sleep. If you go to bed at midnight, that's waking up at 6 a.m. Like that's not very hard to do to get six hours of sleep. Sleep is so amazing for your body. Sleeping helps you deep bloat. It honestly is beauty sleep. Like it helps your skin recharge, refresh. It helps your body just re-nourish itself. Um, it just helps you digest everything, break down everything. Your body needs sleep to kind of clean up a little bit and do some polishing on some areas. It helps me the most with my bloating. I find significant differences when I sleep six hours versus when I'm sleeping eight hours. I wake up so much less bloated and just so much more refreshed and recharged. Number nine is to bribe yourself. For me, the way I like to be bribed is by workout clothes, Lululemon especially. Lulu is like my shiz. When I feel like I'm really happy with my body or um, I look good or I feel really good or I know I've been eating really healthy, you know, I'll go to Lulu and I'll treat myself. I'll get some pants, maybe a sports bra, a shirt, maybe just one thing, maybe a headband, who knows. Um, if you don't want to go get workout clothes, that's totally fine. Get a manicure, get a pedicure, go on a walk. Also, getting cute workout clothes will make you really motivated to work out. Like, I'm not kidding. I'd ask anyone. It's so true. My last and final tenth tip is to learn how to be excited for your new lifestyle because it is very addicting, to be completely honest with you. It is so much fun to see how well your body performs when you nourish it correctly and you train it properly. It's a very addicting feeling when you just feel good on the inside and it becomes not about the number on the scale, it doesn't become how you look in the mirror, not how you look in pictures, not how you compare to your friends, but it's how you feel on the inside. Do you feel good? Do you feel healthy? Do you feel like a well-oiled machine? Your body is a machine. Why are you gonna feed it junk? You have to feed it the best stuff possible and you're just gonna feel amazing. If you reward your body, it will reward you back. Be the best version of you that you can possibly be and I promise you this lifestyle won't sound so daunting and it'll just be your way of life. So that is it. Those are my 10 tips on getting healthy and how to start a healthy lifestyle, tips for a healthy lifestyle, whatever I ended up titling this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys wanna see my last fitness vlog, I got you covered, that's right here. If you guys wanna see a what I eat in a day, that is right here. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in the next video, bye.